Hundreds of thousands of British Muslims in the UK are observing the holy month of Ramadan with millions of Muslims around the globe. During Ramadan, Muslims fast by not eating or drinking from dawn until sunset. Just before dawn, Muslims eat a meal called suhoor and they will stop eating and drinking until sunset when they break their fast during the iftar meal. Ramadan lasts between 29 and 30 days depending on the sighting of a new moon on the 9th month of the Islamic calendar. As one of the five pillars of Islam, fasting is mandatory for all Muslims who are capable and of good health. Muslims pray, read the Quran and donate to charitable causes during the month as they draw closer to God. Imam Muzamil Ahmed in the East London Mosque explained how and why Ramadan is observed by millions of Muslims. Ramadan for us as Muslims is an important month. Uh, this is the month in which we believe the Quran was revealed to the Prophet And so Muslims, they gather together reading this book and observing the fast. Uh, fasting is something that we believe was prescribed to the nations that came before us. Every single community of God, they used to practice the act of fasting to restrain themselves from, you know, the, the things that distract them and busy them or occupy them in this world and instead return to God and to focus on God and to build their relationship with Allah. So this is why we fast in the month of Ramadan, in the month of Ramadan specifically because this is the month that Allah chose in which to reveal the Quran to the Prophet So when we say fasting, when we say siyam, the word siyam or psalm, it doesn't refer to just abstaining from food and drink. In fact, you know, uh, there's a narration of the Prophet وسلم, where he teaches us that if a person simply does doesn't eat and doesn't drink, but doesn't restrain themselves from all of the things that are harmful, that are prohibited, then in fact all they've done is just gone hungry and thirsty. The real act of siyam, along with restraining from food and drink, is to restrain your tongue, to restrain your eyes, to restrain your ears, all of these sorts of things that kind of, you know, uh, might make you look at something that's bad, might make you say something that's bad, hurtful to one another. All of these things are supposed to prevent ourselves uh, from that. And that really is, you know, uh, as Muslims, uh, the month of Ramadan, when it comes to fasting, it's a holistic form of fasting. And then beyond that, we use that time. So all the time we save from, you know, saying bad things, looking at bad things, doing bad things, all that time we've saved, we then utilize it for things that are good, to connecting with Allah, to connecting with one another. Everybody comes to the masjid, comes to the community, uh, and, and we encourage one another in doing those things that are good and helpful uh, to connecting ourselves with Allah, but also to the community that is around us. Just before the start of Ramadan, British Muslims shop for the holy month. Thousands of Muslims packed the London Excel Center for the Muslim Shopping Festival as they prepared for Ramadan. The event involved exhibition stores selling Muslim clothing, Ramadan calendar and charity stalls. Of course, so all of the products that we have here are mainly for Ramadan themselves. So we've got chocolate calendars for each day of Ramadan. We've got toy calendars um, with the same idea. We've also got Ramadan activity books by the famous Oman Hannah. So we've collabed with famous cartoon artists to create activity books for children, providing them education about Ramadan from the beginning, from the first day, all the way till Eid. We also have lots and lots of different characters, prayer mats and all the best items. Walid Jahangir of Algebra Festivals and London Muslim Shopping Festival explained the atmosphere before Ramadan for British Muslims. Ramadan is very similar to any other cultural community celebration, whether any religion. It's about gifting, it's about giving, it's about going down to grow and it's about family. So all of those things come together in one place and people get ready for that time, regardless of any community. So the easiest way I can explain it is this is exactly like the run up to Christmas where everybody's Christmas shopping. Ramadan finishes with a huge celebration called Eid al-Fitr during which Muslims attend Eid prayer and have a feast with their family and friends.